Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want us to talk about this whole phenomenon of this I don't have a dream job or I don't dream of labor type of videos. But what I really want us to focus on is what I think these type of videos signify, which is a cultural reset, the end of the cult of hard work. Let's first discuss all of these I don't have a dream job video. When they started popping up in my home feeds, I really felt really cynical about them because number one, duh, nobody wants to work. But of course, most importantly, all the people making these type of videos or posts are social media influencers or in one way or another, some kind of business owner. So that also was very sus. But what really started to really get me focused on this subject is seeing all these articles going around right now about a labor shortage and also a bunch of articles talking about how people are no longer working for less than 15 to 18 dollars because it then it really feels like it's not just some few isolated out of touch online creators and what i feel is really being expressed in these videos is of course a uh, disinterest with having a office job and i really have to make that clarification because when i look at these videos most of these creators are actually pretty big in my eyes they have thousands of followers on their platform so there's nothing wrong with that but if you're gonna make a video saying i don't have a dream career you have your dream career you're either a youtuber or a tiktoker or some kind of social media influencer what i think these creators are trying to express is that they don't feel exploited they feel fulfilled because they can create whatever they want however on average in a year youtube is making about 40 billion dollars in revenue if there was a scenario in which youtube actually split up those 40 billion dollars among the creators then i would agree with you that you are not being exploited per se but until that happens this is exploitation somebody is using you to make profit and like i said maybe these creators feel at peace in that they get to create whatever they want on these platforms and get paid whatever they think is decent, fair, dignified. But that doesn't mean that exploitation is not happening. And a lot of these creators express ideas of wanting to revamp the capitalist system. Like maybe it's an issue of taking care of your mental health, making sure that within the system that you have jobs, even if they're not at your dream job or your career, there is some sense of taking care of you as a human being which is also a very naive point of view because the moment you start to study capitalism you realize that nowhere in capitalism's way of operating is the emotional human being considered the main goals of capitalism are to create money to hoard money to make you spend money so you then have to keep working and to have ever constant never-ending growth even at the expense of your workforce or their emotional or physical well-being well, what i do think that these videos point to is the amount of people that are dissatisfied have a sense of disconnection with their work right now with the current economic system and how it works who it rewards which is a whole bigger conversation and that in itself deserves the spotlight now of course to put all of these into context we came out of 2020 i feel like it was a great year in creating a class consciousness or at least the beginning of what can be considered class consciousness because so many of us began to understand that all of these ideas we've been fed were a lie all the low paid jobs that were deemed unskilled labor that were deemed undesirable are actually the essential jobs that hold society together so we should actually be putting a lot of value into that work both in the sense that we think it's an honorable profession but also of course in the pay all jobs should pay a living wage anyways you guys know how i feel about that so many people that were laid off last year began to understand how little they get paid when they begin to receive unemployment checks in the mail and that doesn't mean that unemployment is way too much that means that wages are not paying enough and now way into the middle of 2021, I feel like every single week, there's a whole new slate of articles about how people are refusing to work for less than 15 to 18 dollars an hour, which should be the bare minimum. Because if our minimum wage have kept up with inflation, the minimum wage would currently be about 25 dollars. So the fact that people are asking for 15 dollars, like I said, is just the bare minimum. It doesn't even cover your bills. 
However, what I find to be the most fascinating is seeing a lot of people, especially on TikTok, explaining that they just don't want to work, period. I don't want to work. I don't want to work, period. I don't want to work for you. I don't want to work for me. I don't want to work for anyone. Bitch, I've done that. I've been there. I'm 30 years old. I have gone on a whole career journey. I have autonomy over most of my life. But because of that, I fucking resent working. The more I prioritize myself and the more I do what I want to do, the more I realize, wow, work is just a fucking distraction. Did you ever think that maybe laziness isn't the problem? Maybe people are actually depressed and tired of living in this capitalistic, soul-sucking world that we live in. Everyone seems to be going back to normal. And in a lot of ways, I feel gaslit. I'm just told to accept where we're at and that it's normal. When nothing feels normal, nothing feels okay right now. At the heart, they try to express this generational awakening that we have everything that we need. We have more than enough food, enough stuff, and of course, AI is incoming. We have enough resources that not everybody in the population needs to work in order for society to thrive. Not to mention that I think there are people for so many varied reasons that just cannot keep up with things like routine or the demand that a job would have on you constantly people with disabilities people with mental disorders or just people that are just not going doing well in life like we all have those moments in life that you need a break i think it's okay if some people don't want to work like if it was up to me the ideal scenario people would get things like universal basic income and healthcare, and then people could work for luxury if you want luxury work for it but just because you don't work doesn't mean you don't deserve shelter or just like a dignified life when I make videos like this, by the way, I get a lot of comments of saying, you dumb fucking bitch, we just want you to work hard. Why should you want to work hard? Who does it benefit that you work hard? Our capitalist conditioning begins so young when people begin to ask you, what is your dream job? Why should you have a dream job? The only point of school really is to teach you to follow orders and of course to find an area to specialize so that you can one day be at your highest productive output to have a sense of who you are based on the work you do and what you create and to train you to live a life of constantly chasing accomplishments and goal posts which inevitably are never ending because you will never be satisfied as a human and of course the biggest one of all to accept a system of society which in no way values uplifts or even take into consideration the mental and physical well-being of its citizens like i said we're understanding that on a societal level it's really luck and nepotism who gets rewarded the most or not most of the time so really is it really hard work one of the weirdest mind shifts of last year was knowing that we just have worth as human beings even if we don't work if we don't produce you still have value just because you are a human being that is alive on this earth you're allowed to take up space to express yourself to live with dignity and of course this is a very important issue because moving forward like what will happen if literally the elite don't have a workforce how will both sectors of society interact with one another if people just refuse to work or if the elites decide that they have to somehow entice its population into playing into work or will the system itself collapse entirely I obviously don't have an answer as we will all see how this all plays out but I do think it's very inspiring that we're starting to see some kind of critical thinking around this very important area of our life which is work and I almost forgot to add the most important part about this is because we don't have a union-led workforce most everyday people we don't have a union representative at work and which way would you advocate for yourself if you did have a union representative available to you they would train you to organize and most likely strike ironically this capitalist society which has trained us to constantly put our own interests forward and before anything else has suddenly led us to what kind of looks like class consciousness or baby steps toward it and baby steps towards like a general strike or maybe not ironically at all like why does capitalism not work <laughs> Thank you.
but yeah i feel like i've been talking for way too long now let me know what you think about all this whole phenomenon generational rejection of work and i don't know i guess the overall capitalist system or what might happen in the future and i will link in the description of these videos all the other videos that are about these topics that i feel like will help give you a context in case you just haven't had these kind of videos pop in your home feed at this point but anyways thank you so much for watching if you still are subscribed if you'd like to continue talking about world domination and and i'll see you next time